everyone just assumes I'm female, but there's a little more to that. The last guy I told about my condition, he said that was like a deal breaker. It can be kind of awkward at first. I need someone who can like converse with, you know? Yeah. I'm Jyoti, I am 18 years old. I just graduated from high school. I'm going to a community college in the fall. I was born with a condition called intersex. I define that as not having the typical binary sex organs or parts. In my case, it means that I don't have any internal or external sex organs. It also means I won't be able to have my own biological children since I don't have, like, a vaginal opening. I don't have either ovaries or testes. I was born in Calcutta, India, and I was adopted by Sue and Patrick when I was about three and a half. We hope she was delivered to us in an email. Yeah. We had been attempting to adopt for probably two years. I looked at that email, I read it over again, and I thought, that's our kid. That's our baby. I've always seen myself as a girl, as female, and so it wasn't really like a question of who or what I was. It was more of like, what am I going to do for myself in the future? And yeah, that's kind of yeah. like where we are now. It says, I have the vocabulary of a well-educated sailor. I like to have some creamer in my coffee, but uh, it has to be sugar-free because of my diabetes. In July, I'm having a reconstructive surgery to create the vaginal opening and the vaginal canal. You might not want to see this. Eating? Yeah. Why? Because I'm a messy eater sometimes. <laughs> I decided to do the surgery mainly because as I get older, I want to have a more typical female sex life. I know that it's gonna be a long surgery and there's a long time of recovery. My hope is she's gonna feel more complete as a person she identifies as, as a woman, mm -hmm. um, and that it will make it easier to date. So, what are your options? Well, I could always just do shorts and I like a nice You could. So if I'm pursuing a relationship with a heterosexual male, there's the assumption that I have like all the typical parts. Isn't that a beautiful color on her? I'm just worried about looking too formal because we're going to Main Street Bar and Grill. I have to explain it and I want to be upfront about it. Uh, I'm going to try my other option. <laughs> I'm going on a date with Johnny, who I met on the app OkCupid. We have a lot of the same kind of beliefs and the same point of view, I guess. He's also kind of nerdy. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I can be kind of nerdy, too. So are you feeling nervous? A little. Mostly because I haven't actually met him yet. He sounds like a, just a, a good person, a mature person with very similar interests and values to hers. So I'm, I'm trusting, and I'm trusting Joe's judgment too. We've texted a bunch, we've talked on the phone. He knows about my condition. I've probably worried to excess about whether or not this guy will back out. Be good.
I'm really glad that you said yes to this because I was kind of worried the last guy I was like I went out with actually said that it was a deal breaker my uh, condition uh, that's right. yep. Just reorganize a little <laughs> I try to watch TV but my internet's been out all day. Oh no. I watch superhero stuff, um, mm. things like that, anime. Yeah. I wait for a show to release and then I'll just binge all of it. Yeah. Yeah, and also here's the thing, a lot of the time we had a lot in common. In fact, we talked more than we ate, actually. And when she told me about her condition, I thought, well, that's cool, that's different but I want to get, to get to know her as a person. Uh -oh. oh, that question really got me. It was a little awkward at first, but I think, yeah, she seemed really cool and I, I liked her. So I, I had a really good time. Me too. <laughs> and I'm not lying about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this was good. Yeah. yeah. Would you like to go out again? Yeah, I would. Yeah. The first time I met Joe, I knew within about 30 seconds that I had just come into contact with probably the most determined, strong, feisty little personality I would probably ever meet in my life. The subsequent 15 years have not, not proven that wrong. As much as it scares me to have the surgery, because it is such a big operation, I'm also excited for it because I know this is something I definitely want to do.